everyone, Doris here. So in my last video, I showed my kit that I had put together for the August Assembly Line Junk Journal Challenge here on YouTube with Dear Julie Julie. And I had shown various papers that I was putting together, a pattern, vintage items that I found in my stash. And I had also shown three of the 11 elements that were to do. I had shown the paper clips, envelopes and clusters that I've done so far. And today I'm gonna to be showing the book page pockets. We are to do 11 elements in this challenge, eight of each. And with those 11 elements, we are also to include three embellishments on them. So today I'm working on, like I said, the book page pockets. And I've already went and stitched around them. and made a little opening here. In this example, I have a piece of washi tape here, a piece of uh, lace, and then a um, piece from the digital kit I'm using, which is the Garden Veggies and Fruit Digital Kit from Dear Julie Julie. And you can find her shop under that name on Etsy. Here is one of the sheets that I have printed out for one of the embellishments. So we'll go ahead and just lay these out. We're to make eight of each, and I tried to pre-cut things as much as possible to make it a little faster. So first we're gonna be using this uh, washi tape here. And I really don't trust the stickiness of washi tape, so I like to use a glue stick, and I happen to have this Elmer's Extreme is what I have on hand right now, so that's what we're gonna use. There we go. And you can easily see where the assembly line is, idea is coming in because we're just gonna go ahead and do one right after the other. Doesn't matter where I put this, we'll just pick a spot. And I might also add that if you like this kind of idea uh, with the junk journal challenges, Julie does a video every day at 10.30 Pacific time, highlighting different things to do with journaling. Uh, sometimes she does hauls. She shows a lot of different things. She has um, lots of great ideas. There we go. And when she does her videos, a lot of times she will do live chats so that we can all join in and ask questions and exchange ideas with one another, offer suggestions. So it's a great group to be in. A lot of fun. Okay, there was that. So for the fabric here, I like to use Fabri-Tac. It's the best, um, at least for me, it works very well. So we'll just put a little bit on there, like that. And also with this challenge, uh, we could choose any theme, any size, and you can also do either three separate one signatures or you can do one book with three signatures. And I have chosen to do the one book with three signatures. Okay. All right, and just to make things quicker, we'll move on to the next step. We're going to add Julie's flowers here from her digital kit. You can see I've already cut a few of those out, like here in our example. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit. So 
so those are easy to get to with my punch. I'm using this, it's called Petite Petal Punch from Stampin' Up. I don't know if it's a current item or if it is uh, discontinued, but that's the one that I'm using. And it's easier if you line it up from upside down. Then you can just see the positioning really good there. And then you can just punch them out, just like that. I like to pick things that are uh, rather simple. Okay. You see how fast I can just punch those out there. She has them spaced out nicely so you can do that. And actually you can even have the, um, the cutout. You could even put that on one if you wanted and cut around it and have different material or different scrapbook paper or whatever you wanted behind it. Okay, well, we'll just do those few for now. I'm just gonna, again, gonna go back to my glue stick. And glue those on. So you can see just how easy that is and how quick. Therefore, that gives us our assembly line idea. And one other thing I wanted to show today was the book that I'm using. So this is the hardcover book that I'm gonna be putting my three signatures into. I've already gutted the book. And so now the big decision is what am I gonna use for the end papers and what will I put in the middle? So I was kind of thinking for the end papers to maybe use this scrapbook paper here it's from the uh, strawberry patch uh, paper pad that I showed on my last video. And then I'm also thinking maybe for the center spine here, I might use this fabric here. And this is from my vintage apron that I showed earlier too. So just a couple ideas. I have yet to figure out what I'm going to do with the cover. So thank you so much for stopping by again. Uh, you can check out August Assembly Line Junk Journal Challenge on Dear Julie Julie and on YouTube. And also you can go to her Facebook group, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, where you can ask to join the group, just answer a couple questions, and then you'll have access to the August Challenge. And I really encourage you to come on over and give it a try. Thank you so much and have a great day.